In this video, we're going to be looking at simplifying algebraic expressions. Let's have a look at our first example. A plus A plus A plus A. If we think of A as in a physical thing, such as a pen, if we've got a pen plus another pen plus another pen plus another pen, we have four pens. This works in the same way when we have algebraic terms. We've got an A plus an A plus another A plus a fourth A, so we've got four lots of A. Remember, four A also means four times A. It's just this way is a much shorter way of expressing it. Number two, A times a times a times a. Now this one we're going to express using powers. We've got a multiplied by itself or times. So when we are adding four lots of a, the four sits out front because we have four multiplied by a. When we have a multiplied by itself four times, we write the four as a power of a. Question three, two a plus three b plus five a minus b. Here, we don't know what the values of a and b are, so we assume they're going to be something different. So we can't group together the A's and the B's. We can group together the A's. So 2A plus 5A is 7A. And then separately we can group together the B's. So 3B minus B is plus 2B. Question 4. 5X squared plus 3x minus x squared plus 4. Now, we've got to understand here that x squared and x are different. They are not the same, so we cannot group these together. What we can group together is the x squared terms. So we've got a 5x squared minus x squared, which is going to give us 4x squared. Five lots of something, subtract one lot of something, gives us four lots of that something. We can't simplify the 3x or the plus 4, so we leave them added on at the end. For our final example, 3 multiplied by a squared multiplied by b times by 4 times by a b. Now we're going to separate these up into individual things first. We're going to look at them individually. So we're going to look at the numbers first. So we've got 3 multiplied by 4, which is 12. And we're going to write that out front. As we did up the top here with 4a or times a, we write the 4 out the front. Next, we're going to look at the a terms, or the a squared terms. So we've got a squared multiplied by another a term here. So here, we're going to have a power of 3. Because when we have a, b, it's the same as saying a to the power of 1, b to the power of 1. a squared is a times a, so a times a times a is a to the cube. Now we've got the b terms to worry about. b times b is b squared. Can't simplify any answer any further, so we leave it like this.